Well, hello there, everybody, and welcome back to, yet again, another collection video. This was one that was requested by some people lately, and I figured might as well make an updated collection video for it. So welcome to the December 2022 edition of my Pixar movie collection. I own all of the Pixar movies currently available on 4K, and I do have some bonus Pixar Blu-rays at the end to show as well. So let's go ahead and get started. So first off, we have Toy Story. And these are, of course, in order of release date. And of course, some releases will vary in slipcover and design. Here is A Bug's Life. Here is Toy Story 2. To be honest, I kind of wish that when Disney brought these movies to 4K that they could have done like a better cover design, like they could have done like artwork from the Blu-rays, but it's fine for what it is. Here is Monsters, Inc. I know other people have told me as well that they agree that they think the cover art should be better. But it is kind of interesting to see how they vary in colors, like on the spines and stuff. This one has three discs. Some releases will have two discs, some will have three, some may have four, and so forth. Here is Finding Nemo. This one has three. It is, nice that, it is nice that they include the bonus features discs rather than just including a Blu-ray of the movie itself. Here's The Incredibles. Because it is nice to have all those bonus features. This one has three. Here is Cars. I do like the artwork on the Blu-ray there. Next up we have Ratatouille. Next up, I have two editions of WALL-E to show. I have the Criterion 4K and the standard Disney Pixar 4K. First, I'm going to show the Criterion. This is the one I'm going to keep on the shelf. And I do plan to possibly sell this one. And I figure since I haven't sold it yet, I might as well show it. Here's the Criterion booklet, the three discs, and I might as well show this as well. I did make a comparison video of these two editions, so if you would like to check that out, it's on my channel. So there's the Criterion release, and then here is the standard one released by Disney. So there you go. Next up we have Up. No pun intended there. I didn't realize that until now. 
This one has three. Here is Toy Story 3. Here is Cars 2. And I know I talked about this before, but what's great about this release is that it includes the bonus features disc that's included with the 3D Blu-ray release of the film. Because if you bought the standard 2D Blu-ray release, you would only just get a Blu-ray of the movie and a DVD. You would not get the bonus features Blu-ray. So if you wanted that, you would have to buy the 3D version, even if you didn't have a 3D setup. But what's nice about this release on 4K is that it has that bonus features disc. So I really like that they did that. Here is Brave. Next up we have Monsters University. Here is Inside Out. And I think I heard that they're making a sequel to this, which would be pretty cool. Because I really enjoyed this one. Here is The Good Dinosaur. This one wasn't as memorable to me. I think I need to give this another watch. Because I honestly kind of forgot about this movie. So if you give me a second real quick, I'm going to go ahead and move these titles down so that they can be an easier reach for me. All right. Sorry about that. Let's continue. Here is Finding Dory. Next up we have Cars 3. I believe this is the first title to get a 4K release in the Pixar catalog. Or at least with, at least I'm, I'm guessing that because of the actually original artwork here compared to the artwork of the previous releases. Because when Finding Dory was released, I don't think 4K was really common yet. It wasn't until this film when 4K became more common. So that's just my guess. And I could be wrong. Here is Coco. Next up we have Incredibles 2. Let me just scoot these titles down real quick. Alright, here's Toy Story 4. I really like the slipcover on this one. And I'm sure I've said that before, but my point still stands today. Nice artwork on those discs, too. Oops. There we go. Here is Onward. Next up we have Soul. This is the first Pixar film to get a digital only release on Disney Plus. And it would stay like that until Lightyear. Here's Luca. 
This one also was only released on Disney Plus. Next up here is Turning Red. This one was planned to get a theatrical release, but unfortunately a few months or so before it got released, it was then switched to Disney Plus only. And last but not least, Lightyear. And this one got a theatrical release. There you have it. Those are all of the Pixar movies. And like I said earlier, I'm going to show these three, or these four, bonus Blu-rays. First off, we have Cars Toon, Mater's Tall Tales. And then the three volumes of the Pixar Short Films Collection. Here's volume one. Here is volume two. There we go. And last but not least, volume three. So there you go. With that, that concludes my Pixar movie collection as well as the bonuses that were shown here. Like I said earlier, this was requested. People have asked me to make an updated collection video on this, and I figured, why not? So hopefully you all enjoyed this video. Don't know when I'll make another updated collection video on this, but stay tuned for that whenever that comes out, hopefully in the next year or two. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. I have plenty of physical media videos on my channel for everybody to enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Hope you all enjoyed the video.